Hi there guys and welcome to Hacksploit. On today's video we're going to show you how to make your very own portable apps. You know what it's like, you've got an application and you're installing it onto one laptop at home and then you decide you're on the same application installed on your desktop or maybe you work in the IT sector and you use a piece of software that you use constantly which you happen to install onto one machine to use it then you need to install it on another machine uh, like CC Clean for example or Wireshark well, in, in today's video, we're going to show you how to make your very own portable apps from the install files of these. Uh, we're going to use a piece of software called Cameo. Uh, I'll show you where to get that from. So you need to go to Internet Explorer or your favorite web browser and browse across to www.cameo.com. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below so you can just click on that. So you'll get presented with this site here. What you need to do is go across to Pricing. Let that load for a few seconds and then go down to personal and select download. Now I've already downloaded this piece of software but you just download it, save it wherever you want. I've saved mine onto the desktop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run that to begin with. So you just double click on it and select capture and install. So basically what this is going to do, it's going to first analyse the computer system uh, and get a baseline, work out exactly how the system is. And then when we start to do the install, it's going to monitor what registry changes happen, what DLL files are added, uh, what files are also added directory-wise. And it's going to basically put that into one big executable file and create a portable package. Now, as I said, we're going to be using VLC Player to make a package today. I know VLC Player do their own sort of portable package, but for pieces of software or other software vendors that don't create portable packages for you, you can use this software to create those portable packages. So that's just going to take a quick initial uh, system baseline uh, and then we'll be able to install VLC. So as you can see over here, it's now said install the software you wish to package. So all we're going to do is basically as we would if we were installing it as normal, just run the software and then it'll go through the actual software's installation. And what this is going to do, it's going to capture all those changes, all those registry things uh, and create the package for us. So, so next through that, um, go next through that. Uh, next through that, it's going to create that now. So that's now running. Obviously, it's saying there to upgrade because I've already got VLC player installed, but it's still going to do exactly the same thing. So we just let that run through, let it start to extract those files. Uh, when you've made the install file, you can uh, like put it on a USB stick, or put it on your works internet, or if you use Dropbox or other sort of cloud storage systems, you could also put it onto those. Uh, so wherever you are, you can easily access your apps. You can make a little folder with a collection of, of apps you you know you commonly use. So that's completed. So we won't run it now, and we'll go to finish, and then we just click the install done button, and that's just going to go through the post installation snapshot, see what's been changed, and then create a package out of that. So I'll let that just quickly run through, and I'll come back to you once that's completed. Okay, so as you can see, the application has now successfully installed. Uh, and it shows you where it's been created so we can go across to that folder now and inside there we have a sorry that's my phone there we have a vlc media player uh portable application there so we can just click on that uh, select which program you want to open so we're going to click on vlc media player press ok And there you go, that's VLC running as a portable app. So what we can do now is we could put that on a USB stick or on Dropbox, etc. and run it from anywhere. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it and also subscribe if you haven't yet for more videos. Thank you very much. Any questions or any comments, please drop them below and I'll try and answer any questions you've got. Thank you very much. Bye.